Yes. yes. I have the job. I have the job. There you go. Okay. I mean, it's not what I was okay. going for. It's not something that I've been that I wanted to do when I was a little kid. Because since I was little, I wanted to be a teacher. But if being a teacher is hard enough, to, it, it's hard enough to get a teach. It's not enough to get a job as a teacher assistant. Yeah. And what's holding me back from wanting to go get my teacher's degree, my uh, to be a certified is teacher, yeah. is the money. I don't want to go for a loan, honestly because it's a loan is a lot of money so Shit. being a financial advisor for new york life is what's up is what's up it's just like what? hey he's like if you don't want to get if you don't want to earn a hundred thousand a year so he was talking like the interview like yeah um, he was telling me i mean i might, not get, you like, I might like, not get a hundred a hundred thousand you know at the, 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 the fuck minute it. i start he, working but talking to you I like you got to get job. more like I'll be getting more than than big, what man. I'm earning now. That's so big. That's like, big. Hey, that's big. Why man. not? That's big. Because honestly, I don't want to be a teacher assistant for the rest of my life. There are people that've been doing that for like 20 years. It's like it's still it's still in the same position. It's still in the same position. Yeah. Like no, I don't want to get stuck earning the same thing. So I want to try for something else. I want to go for something else. Try for it. And if it doesn't work out, then fine, whatever. But I'm testing out the waters of life. Yeah. Testing everything out. I don't know, we have to wait until, well, it's past 12, so until later. Until then, we smoke on Peace and Love, TCW Show. TCW? G. Oh, Glenn GNC. Carson. No, GNC. Glenn GNC. Carson the, the, White. No, no, no. Show. C and G. No, it's the Captain Glenn show. Carson. What happened to the Captain Jim show? We, speaking of that, we gotta do more episodes. I'm not done with you. Um, we gotta do 20 more episodes so we could be 100. Ginger Production. I'm just trying 27. to out. Right. With the no, we out, man. We out, man. We gonna smoke oh, and have we fun. We out, and then I'll let you guys know if I did get the job or not. And I'm, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but I'm willing to just work hard for yeah. it. Yeah. Because one day, I don't want to be living in the same area for the rest yeah. of my life. Yeah, nobody, I want to yeah. be. I want to have a nice. Some house. niggas in the hood want to do and that. They don't give nice a fuck. Nice houses yeah. in Forest Hills. Let me tell you that I'm willing to buy a house in Forest mm. Hills. There's like the type. Can I move in with you? No. In the basement. Fuck. You want to live in the basement? All right, bye. The only thing I have to depend on is a bus, but I might have my own car. But even having a car is hard. In the ass. Peace. Oh, this is such a long story. There you go. Yeah. I'll fight. I'll say something. I'm tired of being closed down like the same thing with that guy when we went to that rooftop. Yeah, you know, I was just oh, like, boy, and motherfucker, hey, like a bouncer, oh, nigga. Yeah. The hat. And it was like, what did you say? I'm like, yo, dude, you should chill. It's not a gun or it's not a knife. It's just a hat that we have. Oh, you, you need to get out. And then, and then off, I, that shit happened on Fourth of July. There was my person that was that, that was upset with me, but I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this guy ruin my night. Yeah, that person was mad, you, but come on, man. You. Oh, you shit. should have said something. That person could have went I'm back to there. But, mm, yeah. I am the what, what you want you to do? Like, oh, sorry. I fucked up, man. Anything. I'm done with that. That was the old me. If I have to say something, I'll say. It. That's all I can say. That's what's up? You know. There might be moments where I might just like I'll hold it in, but it depends on on the situation. It really depends yeah. on the situation, but if the, but there are moments where it just like snap. Not like before. I'm like I'm not gonna say anything. I didn't say anything. No. Now it's just like oh you want to kick me out? Then fine, I'll curse you out. But you know what? I'm not gonna let the night. Yeah. Be fucked up because he didn't say anything. And then we imagine if we did go to the um upstairs to the rooftop, it, right? It you would have been in your mind like it damn. You know why? Because the line that we saw was all full of these like white and, and, and these uppity, white girls and, and uppity, uppity, yeah, like yeah. these girls that can't even walk in these five inch. They're buying five inch. We probably wouldn't even have a good time even, anyway. They can't even walk in the you know, they look like, all you know uptight and shit. Okay. So yeah. And plus, I heard that the drinks were really expensive. So right, right, right. You know what? This is not the only place in New York. Only that person will. Only that person will want to go there. I want to go home. You know what? Then you go home. We're gonna go out. Whatever. Excuse me. Yeah. On that note, we're gonna smoke, drink. Lahaima. You know, I'll say what I have to say. You know, I'm tired of keeping things in. I'm tired of uh, holding things in. If I have to say something, I'll. I'll, I'll you say feel better it. as a person once you let, let it out. I, I, deep down inside, on Friday, I felt better as a person. Like, wow, I actually said something. Because it's really not fair. You know, you can't, you can't just. Sometimes, in certain situations, you can't just think about yourself. You have to be mindful. If there's only one bathroom and there's like 10 people waiting and you're in there, 
talking on the phone, you gotta be self conscious and be like, shit, I'll take this phone call outside. Now, if you're sick or something, like you're barfing, yeah. all right, I could understand that. You're sick, but if you're in there changing and you're talking on the phone at the same time, it's just like, bitch, what are you doing? Look at the, um, the out of towners coming in right now. Here they come. Go we'll get them, Rosa. Right. Now we are. I hope they're just into I know right. prices. And then they use these clothes. Oh, look at what's well. Laheim. Have a jump show. No. No, no, no. That was bad. I was like. More. I know, right? Before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do this every week. We should make it a habit. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't kill us. Like, oh, you got it. You know, right. Like those commercials, those cigarette commercials. Well, that's OD. Long. They OD. Whatever. Yeah, because they do it every day. Yeah. We do it once a week. It's really funny. All right, if we get this, we have to get the Nirvana deal. It's so fun. No, nice. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do it out of my nose. No, no, no. You like this, no? Yeah, it's like really soothing for my, you know, it's not burning my throat either. Soothing, yeah. <laughs> no. You told her about Let's this? Just, just tell, listen, at least I'm letting you know that I'm doing this. I know. You're not doing this behind her back. Johnny Depp. Oh, um, um, Fourth of July. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm like Ray Flair. Really. I know, right? They were crazy people. I'm pretty sure if we go back to that place, the, um, what's his name? Uh, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Look just like him, right? Yeah, I like I like that other guy though. He was he had a good sense of humor. Like, oh, uh, uh, Ray Flair, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Done. His girlfriend. Yeah, his girlfriend. Oh, girl, yeah, his girlfriend. I'm thinking that's his wife. Next time. 